All right, I was just doing a video. Let's see. Oh, did, I, did that even start? Okay, try again. I was just doing a video um, about a couple things, and uh, my camera turned off. My my battery. I'm having some issue with my battery. I mean, not charging my camera enough. But uh, what I did is I went to Walmart. My my mount broke for my camera. For my phone so I had to go and get a new one and I was getting the uh, the mount and I noticed next to it there was a, uh, a DVR recorder that records on a loop that was 20 bucks I thought 20 bucks is worth having some video behind me that goes on a loop and just starts automatically each time you start your car it starts recording just, uh, so you for forty dollars, and it comes with the uh, the charger and everything. You can have a camera recording on a loop behind you and in front of you every time you get in your car. And I put this thing in my car in the parking lot of Walmart, and I get tailgated. I get people swooping in from behind me with the one tail light, high beams, you know, constantly tailgating. There'll be like five or six white cars just driving right behind me all the way through town, all the way till I get to the post office and pull into the uh, parking lot at the same time, different stuff like that. And, you know, you try to describe that to somebody and they're thinking, if somebody told me that before I experienced this, I'd be like, well, really, five or six white cars are following you through town? What point does that? What what does that accomplish? Why would somebody do that? Um, and then you <laughs> you become part of this thing, and then you start realizing, and you go, yeah, why would somebody do that? And you have to start documenting. Do you prove what you're talking about? And uh, so I've been doing that, and I put this thing in the back of my truck. It's facing behind me right now, and. Uh, from the time I left Walmart to the time I got home, I had nobody messing with me behind me. Now there's there's two red cars with their lights on behind me right now. That's been kind of the color of the day. That can be a coincidence. People drive red cars, but um, there's one falling off. They usually stay a specific distance behind you. There's a couple more ahead of me. So right now I'm filming ahead of me and behind me so I can get all of this and then put this into video editing program stitch it all together to show the uh, repetition timing and the repetition and then you have I don't know if you can call it proof but uh, if enough if enough people do the same thing and show the same standard operating procedures and the same tactics all over the world and they match up what these people do, then uh, yeah, maybe we could call that proof or evidence. You know, once it happens so many times, some kind of mathematician, statistician uh, can figure out the math and the odds of that happening and then uh, prove it. There's a way, there's a way to do anything. So I put my crowdsource the truth letters on the back of my truck. I stopped by Walmart. I tried to find some white letters so it would stand out better on the black truck. And all they had was black and gold. So I thought, I'll try gold. It's $1.67 for a sheet of these letters at Walmart. Why not? Why not try to help Jason uh, build his show? So I encourage everybody else out there that's a crowd, crowdsource the truth fan to do the same thing. It's tough to get those letters straight, so you have to use the uh, 
draw some kind of straight line on there with like a, a marker, of course one that you can wipe off. Um, or use the, the piece of paper that all of the, uh, the letters are on. That's how I did it. I just used that as a, uh, a level surface to match that up and got them on there. So dollar sixty-seven. You can put that on there and help crowdsource the truth grow. From seventy-two thousand to uh, let's get it up to a million, so people can listen to Kevin Shipp and Charles Ortel, Larry Clayman. Um, Laura Loomer, hopefully more. Uh, she got kicked off of Twitter, so hopefully uh, she'll be on crowdsource the truth a little bit more here. That'd be cool. A lot of the other guests that uh, Jason has interviewed, they have, to have, they have a lot of good information that needs to get out to the public, and it seems that he's one of the only people that will really find the people are trying to crowdsource the truth, to get the truth out to people, trying to help them out. And uh, millions of people should be watching this show, not uh, well. There's 70, yeah, like I said, there's 72,000 subscribers. People should be tuning in in the morning to watch this instead of, you know, mainstream media. Even though the mainstream media did just do a report on directed energy weapons, a positive one, interviewed Air Force mom. And uh, she described what was going on and described pretty much the exact same thing that targeted individuals, uh, I don't want to say complain about, but report that's uh, going on, the pressure in the head, the, uh, the ringing in the ears, disorientation, all of it, it's the exact same thing. And now they're, they're letting that loose on mainstream media, so uh, that gives a lot of targeted individuals relief. I kind of went off on a tangent, but it gives a lot of targeted individuals relief to be able to talk about that now, and somebody says, oh yeah, yeah, you're crazy. You know, really? Check out MSNBC, check out Fox, you know, for those people that still only believe the things that are going on in mainstream media. Now, uh, like the psychological evaluator that I got tricked into going to see literally said, show me a mainstream media article. Show me a mainstream media article that, that talks about this. And so the timing was a little bit off. If I would have went into his office a week from now, I could have said, here you go. Here you go right here, sonic attacks in uh, Cuba, China, against our diplomats that were looked into by a doctor and given a medical evaluation. So now they can't say, oh, this is something you're making up, this is, this is out of control, you're delusional, no longer. Oh, Jason Goodman just texted me and said, Happy Thanksgiving, Mike. Hopefully you watch this video, Jason. I'm talking about your show a lot. It's important. I, um, I put crowdsource the truth on the back of my truck first. Because I think it's more... I, don't, I might have already said this. I think it's more important to promote Jason's show because of the amount of information that he's putting out. And I'm on that show anyway, so if somebody wants to find me that, I, that is checking this out, uh, they'll see me. They'll you know, be like, hey, that's the bald guy with the Coke bottle glasses, as uh, Dave Acton likes to call me. Coke bottle. Those are basically reading glasses. Non-glare. Not Coke bottle, buddy. Anyway, I'm, not, I'm trying not to respond to that, that troll. So if you're watching my videos and wondering what crowdsource the truth is now, check it out. And I'll show you, uh, I'll pull into my driveway and then I'll show you this camera that I have in the back. It's 
so that weirdo was uh, he's sitting there he's got his hoodie on I've got a hoodie on he's got his hoodie on and when I go around the corner as you, if I play this video you'll see him he's got his tongue stuck out of his mouth as far as he can kind of like Gene Simmons and he's just like pointing his tongue all over the place they just do weird little stuff like that so you, you know to get your attention to let you know how many of them there are I didn't really care less now so people are just they shouldn't be on the road they're a waste of space all they do they just antagonize people they're literally a waste of space they're probably getting government benefits that uh, uh, part of the government government benefits that they receive says that they have to do this part of homeland security if you're going to be government benefits you have to go along with this program it's part of it and they've worked it into every facet of our government or uh, every every program every organization they've worked this in there so we need to work it out it's unconstitutional um, by the way if you're first watching my videos and you're a targeted individual and you've lost everything you're thinking geez what's this guy living in a million dollar house for I uh, moved here. I rented this house for 1,200 bucks. They overbuilt out here, and um, it was super cheap. Uh, apparently, it was because of the amount of crime out here. Whoa, whoa! And, and uh, just the, the fact that they overbuilt, and a lot of people moved out. There was a surplus of homes, and I just got it cheap. Rent's gone up since then a uh, little bit. I sent him a check for 1400 bucks a month, but I run my business out of here and it's uh, I would either have to rent a shop or put all of the uh, eBay stuff in the garage and park the cars outside and it just it works out. Uh, it's big enough for us to live in and still afford for the time being and we're just thankful to live in this neighborhood. So, But we are definitely not rich. I don't own this house. Um, you know. $1,400 a month in Los Angeles would get you a studio apartment if you're lucky. Like if it may be, maybe 2,000, 2,500 bucks. Um, so I just kind of want to point that out, the difference in, uh, you know, different places in the United States. Some people have a perception of, uh, like when I drive down the street here, and people try to say that I'm a perp because I live in a nice neighborhood. And uh, that's not even close to being the case. All right. Um, oh, here, I'm gonna show everybody this camera. Let's check this camera out. 20 bucks, Walmart. I had to promote Walmart because I've got perped in there, but actually the lady here, I'll tell a little story here real quick. The lady that, uh, they, at the checkout, I noticed the guy's odd behavior behind me. I, I just put on some pants this morning, they're, they're dickies. I, haven't, I used to wear these when I skate a lot. And, you know, they're tough pants, work pants, or when I do construction. Um, I put them, I haven't worn these in two or three years, maybe. I put them on, I go into line in Walmart, the guy gets in line behind me and he's got a brand new Dickies hoodie on, like I'm wearing this, this hoodie. Uh, and he's still, it's still got the tag on it, he's got it on, and he literally walks up next to me and touches his arm so his elbow and shoulder are both touching mine. Like you're something like your girlfriend would do, you know, like being up next to you. And the lady at the cash <laughs> at the checkout looked at that guy like, what is your problem? And it gave me a perfect opportunity to say, um, if you're wondering why this guy's acting like this, I can explain it to you. And she's like, yeah, what's, what's up? I said, um, I'm what's called a targeted individual. This guy is, I can't remember if I called him a gang stalker or what I called him, but I said this guy is uh, it's part of this. Check me out. Crowdsource the truth. Um, Michael Barden, look at my videos. You'll understand more of why this guy was acting like that. And she's like, okay, I'll check it out. And I go, you should think I'm crazy, me telling you this, and then research it uh, to see what I'm talking about. She goes, no, I don't think you're crazy at all. That was odd. And the guy's standing right there, standing still right next to me really close to me. I'm like, I have no idea who this guy is. Um, so she noticed it. She wasn't harassing me. She was like, yes, that's, that's really weird that that guy is acting like that. So anyway, uh, here's, 
crowdsource the truth back at the forerunner. I can't show the whole thing because I'll show my license plate. I'm sure that's come up in some video somewhere, but whatever. These guys. Uh, so yeah, there's crowdsource the truth. Dollar sixty-seven to put some letters on the back of your vehicle. Uh, I think this is a good one to, to do. There's my Pat Tillman, forty-two. Uh, he was assassinated by uh, somebody. Still like to figure that out. Uh, go on Able Danger and watch some of uh, Field McConnell's videos. He talks about that. He's talked to Pat Tillman's mom. Had some conversations with her, and we'd like to find the people that are responsible for that. We believe it's deep state. I say we. I don't sit there and uh, come up with this stuff with these people. Um, I research it too. It's not like I call up Field and say, "Hey, buddy, how you doing?" I mean, not yet. Maybe. Who knows? I like that guy. Down the road, maybe. Uh, one of my daughter's friends brought some stickers over the other day and they had this one and it, uh, it's a cool camera. My grandma gave me a camera like this when I was a kid, kind of sparked my interest in photography. And uh, it's also to kind of let these people know, hey, they're being, being filmed, there's a camera on here, you know, leave me alone or be famous, you know. It's like the cop told me, you've got two choices. I can do this or I can do that. Those are your choices. So those are people's choices. They can leave me alone or they can become famous because it, eventually millions of people will see these, uh, these videos once the truth gets out. And that's how, one of the ways we're going to do it right there. Everybody have a good Thanksgiving. I'm going to go in and uh, I actually need to get to work. So I'm going to do that. Get a couple hours of work done and enjoy Thanksgiving. Hope you all do the same thing. Bye.